like this one sneezing, then we had this one showing off his dental work, and then finally these two. In second place now in the assist department. <laughs> that ball hit me right in the head. Well, at least he didn't lose that lightning quick wit. We'll tip off the action with the official getting the ball on the head. It was young Shriner's night at the Forum, and they enjoyed this sequence. Johnny Dawkins will pass to David Greenwood. Not quite enough on the vertical leap right there. But now the Lakers start the fast break down court. They go and watch the pass off the knee, a joint effort on defense. Yeah, Jack liked that one. Alvin Robertson of San Antonio with an interesting week. Here he drives, puts up the shot, and it stays up there. Later that same week, this is Robertson slamming it. This time he stays up there. We had some interesting defensive techniques. Vinny Johnson with the ball goes up. Kevin Johnson goes up and over. John Stockton had the ball on this one, says, it's mine and you can't have it. No, I'm not letting go. <laughs> Worst shot of the week goes to Bill Cartwright, the five-footer from seven feet away. Cartwright visibly upset because he found out Hollywood Squares has been replaced by win, lose, or draw. <laughs> Shots of the week, Quentin Daly from half court, bottom. John Bagley from the length of the court puts it up and lets it go. It's in the net. And Danny Ains, with a little extra baggage, fires a bullet and bullseye. The most graceful exit this week, going to Brad Lohas. Sees the chair, but does little or nothing about it. <laughs> Gerald Henderson with a sneaker nailed to the floor, an abrupt stop. <laughs> and finally, from the Love My Carpet Department, soccer players with their own floor show. Yes, time to sweep this one under the rug, and that's another edition of Super Bloopers. As the Mets find... about it is appealing everything that traffic will allow nowhere could you get that happy feeling when you are stealing that extra power show people like show people they smile when they are low even with a turkey 
Square Garden, folks. It was a month of long shots, starting with the Spurs' Johnny Dawkins. And then we go right back the other way, where Mel Turpin of the Jazz from 55 feet away. The longest shot by the shortest player, 5'4", Tyrone Muggsy Bogues of the Bullets, and he never touched the rim. But the longest shot of the month would go to the next John Bagley from 80 feet away. John, thanks for that. The most timeouts by a coach on one play. Kevin Lockford, you want timeout? One time. Two timeouts. You want another one? Take three. How about four? Four timeouts for Kevin Lockery. The hardest way to get a hot date. Trent Tucker, who, <laughs> who ends up in the front row of the lady who just got a cup of hot chocolate. Tucker goes down and says, man, that feels warm. Suddenly you realize it's really hot, hot chocolate. <laughs> hey, uh, get me out of here. Help, ball boy, get on out here with the towel and cool me off, man. The worst dive of the month, however, would go to seven foot one Brad. Brad Lojas of the Celtics, over he goes, and no reward, except that he did get very close to that good-looking blonde with the black sweater. Did you check her out? The Anxiety Award of the Month, the Giants' Carl Banks, who dives right over Danny Watt. Who cares if it was offside? He promised he was going to get the quarterback, man. It was a month of bone-jarring hits. If you die to check it out, Don Warren of the Redskins, getting nailed by Terry Hogue of the Eagles. The Oilers, Keith Bostic, who said, Bubby Brisker, here I come. Here's Bubby. The hardest hit, however, the Chargers, Vinnie Glenn. Vincey Glenn on the Browns, Webster Slaughter. Webster got up and said, I caught it. I caught it. Hey, you know why? Because he's got Moses on his side, man. That's why he does. Leading him to the prom. I don't know. It's <laughs> between the referee sandwich, between Penn State and Maryland. Watch the referee in the middle. One, two, three, four. And the other guy said, let me jump in. I don't like the calls he's made either during this game. Wildest play of the month. All right, Polly High and Red. City High and White. Number four, Chris Smith. He throws the number two, Paul Williams. Wimble Williams is scrambling. He's losing yardage. All the way back to the 28-yard line. He's lost 31 yards throws the football back to Smith, who started this play. Smith will go 72 yards for the touchdown. But you know what? In the record book, it will go down as merely a 41-yard touchdown pass play. Hey, how about the mystery man of the month? The Delaware State player who wanted to remain anonymous. He's a friend of Tiger Mask, you know? In hockey, second longest goal of the month goes to the Maple Leafs, Chris Kostopoulos, 75 feet away. The longest goal of the month would go to the Flyers' Dave Poulin, who from right in front of his own goal would turn, would send it the length of the ice and the spectrum in Philadelphia. The prettiest goal of the month goes to the Buffalo Sabres' Mike Foligno, who on one skate leaps, gets around, shoots, and scores, and then gives us the Buffalo leap. Get him, Mike. The most embarrassing goal of the month was turned in in Spain. The soccer goalie, nice diving save. Now looks to throw to his wing over, an and it slips out of his hand into the goal, his own goal. He says, wait a minute, can we call timeout? Can we stop? Maybe I really didn't mean that play. In boxing, second best punch of the month by John Doe, who would nail Tyrone Mack. Boom, did Tyrone fall? The best punch of the month. Terry Norris knocks down Joe Walker, who suddenly says, I think I've been hit. Then gets hit again, says, I think I've been hurt. I know I've been hurt. Walker would end up winning the match on a disqualification. Best guitar hit by someone other than Elvis. Honky Tonk Man on Randy Macho Man Savage. The roughest ride of the month. Turned in by Nigel Manziel in Japan. This ride and subsequent crash would eliminate Nigel Manziel from the Grand Prix in Japan. Roughest wide ride on four wheels of any month. The guy who flipped and then was run over by his four-wheeler. You ever see what a motocross rider looks like after one of those wrecks? Hail to the plays of the month of November. <laughs> 